20 seconds. Uh, I've got some nice fresh mozzarella here. I'm just going to put a slice on top of the chili. We're just going to fill that back up so the cheese can soften a little bit. So I will take these out for you here. So we just plate these like so. Maybe you want to put some tomato on each of the okay. each of the breads. A uh, tablespoon's perfect. You can put a little bit more. And then we've got a little bit of fresh jalapenos. And that's really it for our the jalapeno corn bread with fresh mozzarella, great flavors, just real simple olive oil and some fresh basil with the tomatoes, a touch of sea salt, a little bit of pepper. Yes. It's really easy to do, you know, certainly would like you to come to Big Daddy's and, and have it, but uh, you could try the recipe at home yourself, nice piece of French bread toasted, fresh tomatoes out of the garden from the market, and uh, away you go. That looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. The bruschetta was ridiculously tasty, as everyone can attest to. What are we doing now? Well, we're going to do Creole grilled calamari. We've got to marry a little bit of Creole spice and clover honey. We're going to grill that nicely and make a nice little Creole tomato roasted garlic stew. Sounds good to me. All right. So I've got our calamari here. I've taken them and I accordion cut them. So nice hot, nice hot grill. That looks fabulous. We're gonna make a nice sauce to go over top of the uh, over go over top of the calamari. Right. Okay, so the calamari is very close here. We don't want to overcook it, so we're gonna start putting together our sauce here. So I have a few straight tomatoes here, some green onion, a little bit of garlic, just a little bit more than a little, some caper. We let those just sizzle a little bit. And I'm going to add a couple of garlic cloves here. Just full of garlic cloves as well. I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of white wine. So I'll put a little bit more in there. A little bit more doesn't hurt. And we add a little bit of green Tabasco. And add our special Creole sauce and a little cube of butter to that sauce. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Set this up on the plate like so. And we'll just finish our sauce up here. And we get the nice richness. So that looks see fun. that? And then we're just going to pour it over top of the calamari like so. Grilled grilled calamari. Fabulous, and the sauce just goes right in. Just runs in. Uh, calamari, gotta say, ridiculous. So good, so right. good. Glad you enjoyed it. What's next on our menu? Well, we're going to do some bronze catfish, fresh catfish. It's farmed, of course. We don't uh, use too much wild catfish. Uh, we find the farm much more consistent, more flavorful, and all around better. Now, catfish is a very mild fish, so it's good to kick it up with your... Yes, and spices. we're going to bronze this, just so everybody's clear. I mean, there's the blackening term, too. It doesn't mean that the food's black and black, and really what happens is the spices go black. There's a bit of sugar in the mixture, so that's what's blackening. And blackening doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be blow, up, blow your head off. Right. Spicy, it's just about a lot of great flavor it has a bit of spice bronzed is just moving it down to the next level we don't put right. as, quite as much spice on there but the same process so okay. let's now get what started are we doing? all right so i've got the uh, pan getting hot here i'll grab my tongs we'll put a couple of pieces of catfish in our black eating spice here generously yeah just on one side typically when we bronze we just do the one side okay. of the fish we like to uh, you know, definitely want people to be able to taste the fish 